All right, so we're going full fisheye effect for this. We did have a ladder to get up there. However, it was too unsafe. So we got rid of it. Now we have nothing to get up there with. <laughs> I was going to use those jumper cables to lower the transmission down. However, being up here, I have a much better idea. There's a garbage can right below me, and she is packed full. So, you bet I am. I'm 12 out of 10 going to break all this. But I've already committed in my head, so... So we're doing it! If I were gonna break, what side would I have to land on? Oh, God, yeah. Alright, well... Moment of truth, sorry garbage can. Recommend that. Okay, hang on. <laughs> oh. Step one of the day. That's a pass. All right, let's kill the rest of the day then. How's it going, guys? Hope you're uh, having a good day. Um, as you can see, we start off the day perfectly. So found the trans that was exciting and I carefully hoisted it down onto a soft landing so I found the trans we're gonna go clean it I don't know if you can see we picked up the Civic wheel too finally when they crashed it they blew out the tire and mangled the rim so I got some hookups because I used to work at a tire shop so I got me a new tire and uh, fixed a rim that is two points on the wind scale for today. We have far surpassed my expectations any day, ever. Usually this shit doesn't go easy for me. So, can't get home. Nope, I lied. We're gonna go blast the trans off. And I don't know how I'm gonna drive. Oh, I got a heat gun. Good what bla Good blast the trans off, uh, but I have to put on the engine today. But it's cold, so it might freeze, but I got a heat gun. That's the whole little battle you saw in my head just a second or two ago dangerous place inside of my head so let's go clean that thing off we got where our bolts showed up oh man let's let's get her what yeah let's start all right well we're back home now somehow i managed to burn uh, most of the day away it's getting ready to be dark at two o'clock here in canadia so that's where we're at everything's a little bit oiled up there i uh, did a bit of a spit shine we're going to do a nice cleaning on this and the cylinder head when we're ready to go. For now, we're going to do our ARP head studs. Uh, this is B16, so part number 208-4601. We're going to slam those bad boys in. Get her looking like a race engine for all 160 horsepower. <laughs> well, once we get those bad boys in, we can throw the head on. Finally. Finally, it's time. This is a moment I never thought I would see. So we got our water pump. Put the head on, do the timing, other stuff, things that I forgot, and then magic. Trends, <laughs> trends is inside the house right now, so that doesn't freeze. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. Progress today, hoping to get this on a trans. That's not going to happen, so tomorrow, engine on the trans, and then the day after, engine on the trans. So let's get, <laughs> let's get started, I guess. Got our studs, washers, nuts, grease. Everything on here I've already cleaned, uh, as you can tell. So, I'm trying to tap down the uh, uh, head stud holes. Yep, bolt holes. Uh huh. And you need to clean them real well. So, done. Didn't film it because that's about the most boring thing in the world. So, slapping these bad boys in.
All right, so we have our studs in. They are not torqued and they are not tight. Uh, the only reason I use the uh, ratchet, that's the word, only reason I use the ratchet is it's bloody cold out. So I'd rather hold the ratchet, twist it like that, than trying to do this with numb fingers. So that's the only reason I did that. Now, again, this is just a quick and dirty uh, Honda build. So, not a fresh rebuild. That's why it kind of looks used. Yeah, that's a good word for it. So, because <laughs> she's used, uh, you want to make sure that you oil the cylinders. I am not expecting this to run in the next couple weeks, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to pre-oil everything now. I'm going to dab some of that out. You don't want to pull in there. It'll burn the oil, so you don't have to worry about that. You just don't want to hydro lock it and... Window, right there. Okay, so we're getting to the uh, end of cleaning here. So this is the head gasket. There is usually a correct way this goes up. As you can tell, it says up. So, it has to go on the block that way. Uh, so, we're gonna grease the studs now. Head gasket, head, stuff, bolt, twisting, done. I'm not filming too much because it's bloody cold. Holy shit. So, quick out. What I call a rebuild transmission there. That's what I call rebuilding a transmission in a can, so perfect. She's getting pretty late out, but uh I mean that's progress, right? So I got everything slammed on. Uh did have to do sealant on these uh end caps here. Had to pull the sprockets off, change the cam seals. Those are super easy. Torque those 41. And now we got all this, water pumps on and everything. We got us some drizzles. Oh yeah, from tightening those plugs. So she's pretty much there. Uh, next step is timing. We got a Gates kit, Gates kit here. And then I gotta see if I can find a timing cover. Don't know where that would be, but I, I, I don't know. I uh, wasted a lot of time this morning doing some running around, getting some stuff ready, so didn't get as far as I wanted today, but she is together, torqued, top to bottom. 
So I uh, have to do timing tomorrow. Put the trans, that bad boy, on here. And tomorrow's goal is to have this in the car with two out of five motor mounts. See if we can do it. So that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. It's cool watching the progress on these cars go by. So um, I'm eager to get it back together. Yeah. Just had a shower. It's cold. If you like what you guys see, just step subscribe is the word. Leave a like. Let me know uh, what you guys want to see. We're getting there. Slowly. We're getting there, though.